There are four persons of interest into the suspected murder of Lucille Butterworth and today the inquest into her disappearance heard from one of those men, Lance Russell Sage. He said his memory was sketchy after a serious crash in 1968. But in 1986 he told police he was in the car with his friend Robert Lay when they offered a girl at a bus stop a lift. They drove to Cornelian Bay where he told Mr Sage to take a walk. When he returned he noticed something covered in a large blanket in the back of the car. When he inquired, he was told to shut up and remember he was an accessory. Mr Sage told police he then buried her body in Kingston, but the court heard the dates don't quite add up, as Mr Sage remembers looking across and seeing the Tasman Bridge still under construction. It opened in 1964, five years before Lucille was last seen at a bus stop at Claremont on August 25, 1969. The court also heard statements relating to another person of interest, John Gannon Lonigan. He died three years ago, but police long considered the convicted sex offender as a principal suspect. The inquest was told most of the crimes he'd committed were against women waiting at bus stops. Five sex crimes he committed in the 50s and 60s were detailed to the court, including the attempted rape of a 26-year-old woman in 1969. The court was also told he didn't show up for work at the Boyer paper mill on the day Lucille vanished. He said he had suffered severe burns while painting at his new Norfolk home after he threw rags into the fireplace. His wife didn't believe the story, police statements revealing she had suspected he could be responsible for Lucille's disappearance as every time her name was mentioned, he came very upset. Another statement tended to the coroner by a psychiatrist deemed Lonigan a dangerous psychopath whom he considers could commit murder. The inquest continues. Elizabeth O'Neill, Win News.